What's going on guys? Welcome back to Car Drift Racing. Today we're going to be taking another look at the 300ZX. This time it's going to be Pro slash VDS spec complete with a livery tutorial. For those of you guys who have been waiting for the update on console, it is officially out on Xbox and PS4, so you should be able to grab this car and get jamming. You guys know the drill. First we're going to hop into some driving clips, talk a little about the car, how I tuned it and how I like to drive it, and then I'm going to give you guys the tune and the livery so you can try them both out for yourself. As always guys, if you do enjoy the tune, livery, or the video itself, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more CarX content just like this, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. All right, guys, so here we are in the 300ZX. Now, I have to say this is hands down my favorite comp tune that I've done yet. There are a few different reasons for this. I think the first is going to be the updated physics engine. It just makes comp driving a little bit more direct, a little bit more connected to the road, and I personally enjoy it a lot more on the new physics. In addition to that, this tune is rocking a higher caster and Ackerman value than most of my street tunes usually do. Although this means the car will spin out easier, it allows for way more control if you know how to roll your sticks without going too far to either side. Now, once you get used to this thing, it's absolute butter, and honestly, it starts to become even easier than the low Ackerman tunes because the low Ackerman tunes require more input on the wheel. You don't need to do that with this car. This car settles really easily, it holds a ton of angle, and it feels super fast. Let's head over to the tune. Alright guys, starting off our tune, we got body kit and wheels. We're running the RMT body kit on this car. And for wheels, we got good old TEs. You're going to find them number 21 over here in the RC category. Heading into the dyno stand, guys, we got our spring lengths at 14 and 11, stiffness at 90 and 85, fast bump at 33, 750 and 31, 440, fast rebound at 33, 830 and 32, 420, damper bump at 33, 640 and 31, 380, and damper rebound at 33, 440 and 32, 340. Toes at 0.97 and 0.1, camber at negative 6.85 and negative 0.31. We got our anti roll bars both zero, casters 15, Ackerman 60, and max steering angle as always. For wheels, we got 19s with 265s, we got 130 and 105 for our tire pressures, 100 adhesion front and rear, track is 8, base is 5, and 30 tire profile. Engine's maxed out because comp car, transmission we got a sequential on, dips at 0.7, final drives at 3.45, gear 1's at 3.3, gear 2 at 1.9, gear 3 at 1.4, gear 4 at 1.25, gear 5 at 1.19, and gear 6 at 1.3. For brakes we got a torque at 1363, bias 80%, no ABS, no launch control, and we are running that ultimate setup as always. Now this is typically where a video would end, but I do owe you guys a livery tutorial, so we're gonna head over to the vinyl editor and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this paint job. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to start with a plain black car, and the first shape we're going to use is just a triangle here. We're going to throw our metallic color on it. I like blue. You guys can honestly choose whichever color you want, and the purpose for this shape, honestly, is just to draw a corner here. We're going to go from the side skirt to about halfway through the door. You don't have to be exact, and we're going to throw symmetry on as well. Up next, we're going to hop into some of our crazier stickers over here, and we're going to find this guy here. We're going to leave it white, and make it huge for the side of the car. And so that's looking pretty good. Up next, we're just gonna add, oh, throw symmetry on too. Save yourself some work, throw symmetry on as you place these. Up next, we're gonna grab some more basic shapes and keep going with our metallic blue. We got a little bit more area to fill in here, so I think we're gonna use the teardrop for this. And change the color. And then we're gonna use the D-pad to bring it underneath our newest sticker here. That looks great, and then we got just the top one too. A little bit of space that's left up there. We'll use another teardrop, it's fine. Just filling in some space, and that looks great. There's symmetry on, and then there's just one more piece that we're gonna wanna do is up on the roof. And so we can actually duplicate this, so that way we don't have to do the color again. And we just want the blue to go up until it hits that rear quarter panel just a little bit, like so. Up next, we're just gonna fill in the nose of the car with our blue as well. This'll do it. Cool, all right, that's looking great. Up next, we're gonna throw all our little decals on first because actually our NTNS logo is a pretty big job. Now, if you guys aren't up for it, no worries. I have an alternate logo that you can just throw right on there and not even have to build the NTNS logo. But first, we're gonna start with the little logo. So we're gonna grab YOLO tires first and we want the straight one. There we go. Gonna make it black, nice and small. It needs to come up front and that's gonna go in here. And we may need to adjust just a little bit if there's not enough room for drift hunters, but it looks like there will be. That's fine, that's fine. That looks great, actually. And then we also got Fire Baby. Now, this isn't going to be available on console, so you guys can choose another one that's a similar style. Easy Made's popular. Either of these would work. I like Fire Baby. Leica could work. Pretty much anything with a handwritten sort of scripty feel will do. Um, but I really like this Fire Baby sticker. Now, this one, we're not actually going to want to throw symmetry on. This one, we are going to want to place by hand both ways. I actually think it looks sick straight. I had them rotated on my original one, but I'm going to leave it straight. Yeah, Fire Baby is a weird one because it, it already has like a tilt, so if you straighten it out, symmetry just doesn't work. 
Perfect. All right, now, the big logo. We're going to do the NTNS one, but if you guys aren't looking to do a ton of work, because it's 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 a hefty job making this... The NTNS alone isn't that bad, but doing the white letters with the black outline can be kind of tough. So just a heads up, if you guys want to get a really similar look, what I like to do is grab EV4, you can slap it right on the door, and hit the track. All right? So if you guys aren't looking to put in a crazy amount of effort, that's your that's your logo. It's going to do the same thing. It's a white logo with a black outline. However, I'm NTNS Media. I kind of want NTNS on the side of this car. Plus, I used to have a, a blue, black, and white 300ZX on Forza with a similar livery, so that's why I did the NTNS logo. So we're going to get into that right now. And delete EV4. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to head into this font over here. We're going to grab our NT and S. We're going to leave them all white, and we're just going to work on the spacing of the letters. I'm just going to drop them in, put them loose. About, about that big. Make sure they're straight too. We'll duplicate this one. And we're looking for the letters to be just inside the corners of the doors. So it's looking pretty close. The T could be bigger. And there we go. That's a pretty good placement on the white letters. It's a little tough to see. So if you guys need to like actually see it, what you can do is put a temporary piece back behind here and just make it like, I don't know, some other color, something like this. And this isn't like to leave on there long term. Honestly, it's literally just to check the, the letter spacing. And so like right now I'm noticing that the, the logo is crooked, right? And so that's because I wouldn't have noticed that with the crazy background before. And so maybe I'll just tilt these out. Now, you guys probably are like, dude, you don't have to go into this much detail, but it, it's the little things like this that I think really add up, right? Um, and so I am going to take my time here and just get everything nice and even. Now we're going to do the black outline. This is going to be kind of tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the letter that we're going to outline. Let me zoom in a little bit too, and I can check my alignments here zoomed in before I get too far ahead of myself. Let's get everything lined up well first. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to go to the end. We're going to go left to right. We're going to start and we're going to outline each letter. And the way you do this is you're going to duplicate the sticker and then you're going to back out and bring it behind the original sticker. And you're going to change the color to black and then you're going to move it out and down into the left. You see that? So this is making a shadow. This isn't making an outline quite yet. We're going to hit LT. We're going to duplicate it again. Now our goal is to do what we just did down into the left. We're going to do it again down to the right. We're going to do it again up into the left. We're going to do it again up into the right. So we're going to do all of our corners. So there's up into the left. Okay. And we want it all in line with one another. And then we're going to duplicate, duplicate again, go to the right, keep it all nice and aligned and duplicate one more time. And there's the outline for the N. Now some lines are thicker than the others, but that's okay. I think at this point, we're not going to nitpick like too, too many details. I'm talking about how like this is slightly thicker than this. We don't really need to worry about that as much as making sure like this line is all one line. Like I don't want to see like, I don't know, like this, you know what I mean? That looks cruddy because it doesn't make a line on the outside. I think you're looking more at the outside line than like the line thicknesses here. So um, we're going to just honestly fast forward through the rest of this. It's going to be the same thing for all of the four letters. And then we're actually going to have to do this by hand on the other side, which is brutal. I wish there was like a sticker saver or something that I could just take the whole thing and apply it again, but there is not that. So I'm just going to fast forward through both sides. It's just this method on all the letters. Um, going to grind it out. Let's go. All right, guys, and there we go. There's the NTNS logo, all set, both sides. Now, if you guys are looking to hit the street, this is actually all set, you're ready to go. But if you're looking to compete in VDS, there are a few more things we're gonna wanna add. If you guys are looking for specifics on that, there's gonna be a link down below to our GTR video where I walk you through how to do the numbers, the letters, and the banner. For this car, we're just gonna jump to that already being done. And there you have it, a complete VDS spec tune and livery for the all new 300ZX. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the tune, the livery, or the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more CarX content just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.